This is Newsline 9 Sports. Aramis Ramirez came back to the Brewers lineup tonight. The third baseman was on the DL since April 6 with a sprained left knee. And Milwaukee can use all the help they can get as the Brewers took on the Cardinals. The top team in the NL Central, Kyle Loesch facing his former team for the second time this season and gives up a double to John Jay. That brings home Matt Holliday and Yadier Molina. Jay gets tagged out at second, but the damage is already done. Brewers in a 4-0 hole in the fifth. And that would be it for Kyle Loesch tonight. A few frames later, sack fly from Jonathan Lucroy allows Ryan Braun to score. But the Brewers can't seem to figure out the Cardinals this season. Only one win this season against their division foes. Brewers drop another one, 6-1. As graduation looms in the distance, two athletes from SPASH have made their decisions on where they will play collegiately next year. Peyton Tepp and Natalie Newworth both signed letters of intent today. Tepp for track and field at Cardinal Stritch, right outside of Milwaukee, and Newworth for swimming at UW Green Bay. Tepp chose Cardinal Stritch to be a part of their inaugural track and field program next fall, while Newworth found a home in Green Bay after scouring the country. The coaches have literally supported me from day one and I appreciate that so much and it was just the perfect place for me to go. I like smaller schools. Um, the nursing program was also a big factor and then being part of the inaugural um, track program this upcoming year was a big um, opportunity for me. Rain didn't stop this game from happening. Newman traveling to Assumption, and it was the Mary Sigler show tonight. 31st minute, Martha Hocamp passes up to Sigler, and, well, she does the rest, putting the ball past the keeper to put the Royals up 5-1. to one. Then again in the 44th minute, Sigler sneaks a header in off the corner kick. Her fifth goal of the game puts Assumption up by five, and they would go on to beat Newman 8-1 to one with Sigler scoring six goals and assisting on another. Tomorrow is the first Saturday in May, which means two things. Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. And, of course, the greatest two minutes in sports will take center stage. Antigo native D. Seven Wayne Lucas has two horses down. running in the 139th Kentucky Derby. So Oxbow will run on the inside in post position number two with Gary Stevens on the mount. The three-time Derby winner is back as a jockey for the first time since retiring in 2005. Lucas's other horse, Will Take Charge, will be in gate 17 tomorrow. No horse has ever won the Derby from that position. Lucas is looking for his first Derby victory since 1999. It would be his fifth overall. In my four Derbies, I was able to represent four different clients, and that's what's special about it. You know, the first one you kind of get caught up in yourself. The second and third and fourth one you, you, you start thinking, boy, I'm going to give one of these clients the ultimate thrill. So I. Um, I, I always felt that it was uh, more special for them after that first one, but uh, they're all special. And should Lucas find himself in the winner's circle tomorrow, he would be the oldest trainer to win the Kentucky Derby well, at 77 years old. Lucas Good luck to him. And that's all for sports. Thank Thanks, you, David. David. Well,